And now to Commitment 2024, Florida in the spotlight tonight. Ron DeSantis running the state and now running for president. But the announcement didn't go quite as planned as there were some major technical difficulties on his live Twitter launch with Elon Musk. We have live team coverage on the rough start and what happens next as the 2024 race is heating up. We begin with my co-anchor Todd McDermott, who's live in Miami where the governor is meeting with donors. Todd. That's right, Felicia. We're here at the Four Seasons Hotel in Brickell. Call it a failure to launch the DeSantis campaign, at least at first, that first and even second try. Again, as you said, glitches right from the start for Twitter. They did not get off the ground at six o'clock as anticipated. The live stream repeatedly crashing. They said the servers were overmatched for the tune in for this. Again, it was very hard to hear anything, including the governor, who didn't really get to speak until some 30 minutes in. 75% of the audience that was there was gone by the time he actually got to spoke, but they did get it done, and he did announce his run for presidency. Again, he filed earlier in the day. At one point, though, the whole show was actually stopped and restarted. Governor DeSantis was able to discuss the issues, though, and delivered his standard stump speech, which many people had not heard yet, and to say why he's running. Ari Height listened to it all, both the history and the humbling part of this for a campaign trying to get its message across in a big way tonight, Ari. Yeah, Todd, it took a little longer than expected to actually get to the governor, but once Ron DeSantis was able to start talking, he laid out step by step why he thinks he is the perfect person to serve as the 47th president of the United States. The announcement got off to a rocky start. Technical difficulties left the conversation preparing to launch for about 20 minutes. Twitter owner Elon Musk blamed an overwhelming response. Man, I think we melted the internet there. Once it got started, DeSantis got straight to the point. I am running for president of the United States to lead our great American comeback. From there, DeSantis gave his first speech as an official presidential candidate, touching on familiar topics like the border and his battle with Disney, while also frequently attacking the current man in the White House. Our president, well, he lacks vigor, flounders in the face of our nation's challenges, and he takes his cues from the woke mob. DeSantis used that word, woke, many times in the hour-long conversation, but there's another word he only used once. Merit must trump identity politics. And that's as close as DeSantis came to mentioning his toughest opponent in the primary, former President Donald Trump, though he did take a couple of veiled shots, one about choosing a new direction for the Republican Party. The tired dogmas of the past are inadequate for a vibrant future. We must look forward, not backwards. Another shot came from a question he took, no mention of Trump here by name, but talking about previous administrations and unfulfilled promises. When others tweeted about it and talked about it, it then couldn't actually follow through. It's a great question because I shared that frustration. And that question was specifically about the border wall. And that is as close as DeSantis came to criticizing Donald Trump tonight. He also did not make any reference whatsoever to any of the other current candidates for president. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.